friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today we were just casual, chill, did a little shot my stash, played with some products that you guys wanted to see, and I also chatted about the secret that I've been keeping, which some of you might already know if you saw it on my Instagram or Twitter, and it was just fun to hang out and chat with you guys. I really hope you enjoy this video. Without further ado, I really don't need to ramble in this intro because this was a very chatty video, so let's just hop right into it. Hey, how's it going? I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in like two weeks, so hello. I'm back. <laughs> let's be casual, let's do some makeup, let's chat. I'm excited to hang out with you guys. Obviously, I've already put my brow gel in my brows. Don't mind my janky ponytail. I don't feel like doing my hair today. I need to wash it, so it's gonna be a wig for the intro and outro, it's just how it is. I also did already prime, I used my Glossier Future Do. it's just, it's so good guys. I love this primer so, so much. I'm glad you guys convinced me to try it because it's just amazing. If I fail to mention anything I'm using, of course it will be in the description box as usual. I feel like I have a lot to chat about, so let's just hop into it. I do desperately want to finish off this IT Cosmetics CC Cream, so that's what I'm using today for my foundation, even though I'm not going anywhere, obviously. Today is my off day, which is why I'm filming. I don't really film on my work days anymore, which I don't know if you've noticed, but <laughs> it's almost always on my off days now. I just try to bust out all my videos. I'm working lots of 10, 11 hour days, and I just can't be bothered to do my makeup, let alone film my makeup, on days that I'm wearing a mask for 10, 11 hours. It's just not worth it. It's weird that I'm in this place now where I'm not wearing makeup more than I am, which is, it's just super odd. Usually I wear makeup five to six days a week. Now it's only like two, maybe three days a week at most. It's just wild. <laughs> it's a weird flip. It's, I'm still getting used to that, but I'm also getting used to just looking at myself without makeup. I don't think I look horrible without makeup, but it definitely didn't feel like myself, and now I just don't care, because <laughs> I'm just so busy with work. For concealer, I'm also just trying to use up my Milk Makeup Flex. I think it's getting close to the end of its time, so I'm just trying to use it up. So we can talk about it now. I'm really excited to announce that Zane and I are moving! I can't believe it! I'm literally over the moon. I'm so happy we have something to look forward to this year. Well, it's not happening this year. I'll get into it. Um, just because, I don't know, it just, the world's feeling so bleak right now. We had, like, so many travel plans canceled, and we just, like, had nothing to look forward to. So now that we have something to work for and just be excited about, it fills me with so much joy. So basically, since, like, the beginning of time, I've wanted to own a home. Like, I literally have wanted to own a home, like since I can remember. My parents have never owned a home. I've never like had a place like where I've lived that's like, I don't know, like I've never had like a childhood home I grew up and we moved a lot. And as an adult, I've just always wanted my own place, but I'm also really picky. I didn't want to just buy something for the sake of buying it. I wanted to buy something that I could see myself being in for quite a long time. And Zane's really wanted to own a home too. And we've pretty much been, like I've been saving money since before Zane. And then when Zane joined me, we've just been saving money for so many years now. We've been together almost seven years, so. It's a long time of saving money. <laughs> really quick, I've been using this Ilma Masca Color Veil Blusher. This is in the shade Tonic. It's like this. It's in like this weird jelly serum-y kind of texture. It's like, I don't really know how to explain it. You have to see it in person for it to make sense. It's like kind of a putty. But I just dipped my beauty sponge in. I've also been skipping cream bronzer lately. I don't know why. I just have been, and we're just rolling with it. But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go off on a million tangents just because I'm really excited. Kind of recently, a few months ago, I voiced to Zane. I was like, I know that our goal was to move away. Like, we didn't want to stay in Florida. But at the same time, we don't have a reason to move. My salon business is doing great. I'm just continuously getting busier. Our families are close by. Zane likes his job too. We just don't have a reason to move. Obviously, people move without reason all the time. Like, we could just find new jobs and start over. But we just don't have, like, a solid reason to move. So I was like, hey, instead of us maybe waiting around for however many years to eventually move to a state that we want to move to, on top of the fact that we can't even travel to visit states to decide where we want to live, like, for who knows how long, I was like, why don't we, like, revisit the idea of buying a home? We went through the first steps of the home buying process a couple years ago. We've done it twice now, and both times we were just like, mm, no, it doesn't feel right. We're not going to do it. It feels like we're settling. It feels like we're not ready to just like buy a home, so we have it. But I was like, maybe we should revisit that idea because 
like I said, we just don't have a reason to move. And I'm like, I don't want to stay in this apartment anymore, but I also don't want to just move to a different apartment either. So it was basically like we're staying here in this apartment until we either move away or buy a home. So I was like, maybe we should buy a home. And Dane was actually really open to the idea. I was worried that he wouldn't really be into it just because we hadn't been talking about it, but he was actually really on board with the idea from the second I said it. So I just kind of casually started looking at Zillow. We were looking at this new development being built nearby us, and I was like, this one's kind of cute. Maybe we can check it out. And then this was in, let's see, where are we at now timeline-wise? I think this was early May, maybe mid-May. I think this was right around the time that I started going back to work. Um, the weekend that we decided we were just gonna like drive around that area just to look at it I was looking at Zillow again, and we saw these other new development houses, and I was like, ooh These homes are really cute. They're very up our alley. They're very like exactly what we want So we're like, okay, we can drive by there as well the first place like they had open house signs But nobody was there so we just moved on over to the other one and this girl that we're working with she was working and she's just such a pleasure. She gave us a tour of the home that they had for show right then. That's not the exact floor plan we're doing, but it was similar. She gave us so much information. Like she answered questions we didn't even like have. <laughs> she's been so helpful and she got us super excited. She gave us like all these booklets on just like information so we could make decisions. And she was basically just like, take your time. If you decide you wanna do this, like let me know and we'll start the process. If not, like you're cool kind of thing. She didn't put like a ton of pressure on us is basically what I'm getting at. I didn't feel like we were talking to like a ski realtor kind of situation and yeah we just went home we talked about it we thought about it some more we talked to my family we talked to his family which my family doesn't really have experience with it like I said they've never owned a home but both sets of parents are super stoked for us they think it's a great idea there's literally like nothing wrong with this situation in particular there's nothing we're settling on or anything like that I need to set my face so I don't crease <laughs> Again, I know this is a lot. I just, I'm really excited. I'm trying to spill my guts to you because I've been keeping this a secret from you guys. I posted about it on my personal Instagram and on Twitter, so some of you might have seen that. For a split second, we got scared that we shouldn't do it just because, I don't know, it's so unknown, like, what the world could, like, do for us. I was like, what if, like, you get fired? Or what if, like, I have to close again? Which, it's so many what ifs, and, like, you can't really control that. And as of right now, like, things don't seem like they're going to close again anytime soon. And Zane seems pretty secure that his job is not going to let him go. But we decided just to push past those fears just because we want this home so much. I can't even stress enough how excited it makes us. It's, like, absolutely perfect for us because we're not, like, fixer-upper type people. Basically, like, what Zane and I needed was a new construction home that's, like, brand spanking new, not going to break anytime soon. And this is a really cool situation as well because since we are putting our name down like early on before like any of these houses are built in this specific lot um we get to help with design elements so it's like we're kind of getting to like build our own home but without the pressure of like building your own home from the ground up it's just it's awesome and i'm so stoked about it basically we set up another appointment to have a design meeting just to kind of put in like any upgrades that we'd want and just kind of like map out basically what our house would be we we're able to kind of pick which upgrades we wanted which upgrades we decided we could wait on things like that. I haven't decided if I'm gonna vlog this process or not, and I mean, I already haven't started, so you're already missing like this beginning portion, which is why I'm trying to tell you as many details as possible, but we'll see. I'm sure I will take pictures as like things are building and growing and stuff like that. I'll probably do like a house tour once we move in, but I can't guarantee I'm gonna do like a full on vlog just because, I don't know, vlogs aren't my favorite to do because I feel like most people don't like them. For bronzer, this is a really old bronzer. It's the ColourPop In It To Win It bronzer. I'm pretty sure this is not even available anymore, um, but I haven't used it in a while, so I figured I would. I've already started to hit pan on it, so maybe we can get some decent pan going on. So where was I? We did the design meeting. She told us just to, I don't know, kind of mull it over. We could play around with the website at home and kind of change things around if we wanted to. And then we could set up a meeting to, I don't know, do the contract signing, commit to doing it. We put down 5%, which will go towards the loan, oh, obviously. And yeah, we did the contract signing about two weeks ago. It's officially going to be ours. We have expensive dirt now, and I'm really pumped about it. And the timeline was just, like, perfect as well. I'm not worrying about my forehead too much, by the way. You might wonder why my forehead is so blank. I'm going to be wearing a wig and beanie, so I just don't care. But... I keep losing my train of thought because there's just so much to talk about. Our lease here in the apartment ends on March 31st. As of right now, I think our tentative closing date when the house will be finished is February 17th, I believe. It's whatever that Friday is. 
of next year, obviously, 2021. She recommended doing the closing a little bit earlier than our lease ended just in case there's any delays she doesn't want to risk as like being homeless for a week or something. So it works for me. Like either we have a month to move or we'll have time for those delays to happen. I know someone's going to ask, as of right now, I'm pretty sure Morgan's planning on staying living with us, but I told her like no pressure if she wants to live with us. Cool. Otherwise we'll just have a guest room. It doesn't really matter to us. Obviously if she moves in with us, we can just help put her like rent payment towards other bills, like our car payment or something. For blush, I'm going to use this one from Odin's Eye. It's called Little Jasmine. I love these Odin's Eye blushes so much. They have the flower blushers, which are a little bit shimmery like this. And they have the fruit blushers, which are a little bit more of like a, a matte, but it's not like crazy matte. I don't know. They just look like regular blushes, I would suppose. But regardless, I really like these blushes. I cannot stop using them. Our lot size is going to be around 2,600 square feet. I think air conditioned square footage is like 2,000 square feet. Two floors. It's a standalone home, not like a townhome. It has a little fenced in courtyard. It will have totally maintained landscaping out front, which is really nice because I like the idea of having a lot of flowers and plants outside my house, but I'm not good at them. So I'm happy that the front of our house will just look beautiful all the time. Three bedrooms, an office for Zane, and one of the bedrooms will be my beauty room. A separate loft area, which is cool. <laughs> That'll just give us kind of like an entertainment zone upstairs. Morgan's room slash the guest room if she doesn't move in and my beauty room will be upstairs with the loft and Zane's office in the master bedroom will be downstairs. We don't get a say in the layout unless we just picked a different layout. We just get a say in the design elements. Open concept kitchen. We're getting such a beautiful bathroom. We paid for an upgrade to where we're getting like this really beautiful tub instead of like a shower. So the option was like just having like a regular like shower or getting like a separate tub and a big walk-in shower and we definitely paid for that upgrade because I've always wanted to big beautiful bathtub. I can't wait. We're getting like a pantry. We do not have a pantry right now. We're getting a laundry room. I've literally never had a laundry room in my entire life. Like what the heck? <laughs> I can't wait for a little courtyard too. We'll give the kitties grass time. We plan on uh, screening in our little patio out in the courtyard too just so we can have that big window like sliding glass door open. Guys I literally like I'm so over the moon excited about this. And it's been such a breeze. Like everything about this process has just felt right. It's felt, it's just felt like what it's supposed to be. And I'm just, we're so excited. This makes it to where we're not nearly as sad about missing out on our honeymoon. Cause now like a lot of this extra travel money that we've been saving for can just like help pay for this dream home that we are so excited about. Our honeymoon cruise did get like refunded, but we decided to use it as a credit towards the cruise we already have planned with his family next year. Um, so that cruise is already paid for because of that, because it was a 125% credit. So at least we got something out of it. Let's go freckled. I think I want to be pretty freckled today. Wow, I've never said that before. I think I say that every time. But yeah, maybe Zane and I will do like a Q&A soon, answering questions about the house. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Our dating anniversary is in July, so maybe we'll do it in July. But let me know if you guys want to see that, because I'm I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions because I've already had a lot of people DM me asking questions. And I'm really excited to answer them. I'm pumped just about this whole experience. The exterior of the homes are just so fun and modern looking. They're so stinking cute. They don't look cookie cutter at all. They're beautiful. Zane and I's style taste, I would say is pretty modern, but I definitely want like a spooky chic vibe, but not like overly either. I don't know. I want to find a good balance. I don't like clutter. I do like that kind of minimalist vibe, but I also like decoration. So I don't know. It's going to be really fun. I, I do like a little bit of industrial. <laughs> I like a lot of different things and I'm just really excited to piece things together. I've already started making a list on just like things we want to buy and upgrades we want to make with like certain things. Like we have to get appliances, obviously. Um, we already upgraded our Keurig to one of those really fancy like latte ones because I've always wanted one of those and we'll have plenty of space in our new kitchen for that. And we're getting a new toaster oven because our toaster oven is ancient. That'll be in I think tomorrow. But most things we're just going to wait until we move. Like we don't want to like buy a bunch of big furniture to have to move it. We're mostly going to wait until we like move and can settle and just have it delivered so it's less things to move. But we will see. It's all like very dependent on one if we close again because if I close again that's a big chunk of income that won't happen. But as long as I stay open, I've been, we're just saving a ton of money. Like I said in the last get ready with me, like I'm kind of on a low buy and this is why. I just want to put all of our extra money towards saving for this house. Loud trucks. I can't wait to not be on a big road anymore. We're still going to be in town. Um, obviously you guys don't know exactly where I live, but I live near-ish Orlando, but I'm not in Orlando, I'm a few hours away. 
um, but we're still gonna be in our town and still really close to our jobs, really close to the interstate, really close to our Trader Joe's. I'm so excited. Uh, I, I just, I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled that this is like our reality right now. Like we've signed this contract, we put down our 5%. Like I can't believe it. It's just unreal. Highlights. I have another Illamasqua one. This one's called uh, Deity. Gosh, I think I'm saying that word wrong. Someone is gonna correct me a thousand times. But it looks like this, it's really pretty. I've worn it a few times now, but I don't think I've worn it like on camera yet. Or at least like film myself putting it on. But it's really pretty. It's not like the most metallic highlight in the world, but it's just such a pretty glow. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. This Illamasqua stuff is really like, I don't know, it makes me feel bougie when I use it. It's really pretty stuff. They did send this stuff to me. I've had it sitting around about a month now using it here and there. And I'm pleasantly surprised so far. There's one product from them that I'm not thrilled with and I can't figure out why, but I'll be going over that in my PR Roundup review video early July. All right, I'm just gonna set my face and then we will work on the eyes. Hello, I've returned. We are set. We're about to prime our eyes. I'm still using this Kaleidos one because I'm still trying to test it out thoroughly. And I think my verdict is that I do like it a lot. I don't like it as much as the Smashbox one, but only by a little bit. And I think it's mostly just because it's in a squeezy tube. I think if this had a wand, it might be just as good if not replace my Smashbox one. Because I am liking this. I don't find like I get creasing. I like that it has a tint. We're going to use my Glaminatrix singles because I had lots of requests to play with these on camera. So that's what we're going to do. I want kind of a red purple vibe. It's just kind of what I'm feeling. I have this like ready purple tube top on. I'm gonna wear like a burgundy beanie, I think, provided this goes well. We will see. I'm gonna start with this one called Boxite. It's a red color. I'm just gonna take this kind of medium pencil brush and just start working that kind of in my outer corner and crease. I'm not gonna take this up too high because I'm gonna use another shadow to help blend things out. I'm so excited for the cats to move and see the house too. I think they're gonna love it. There's so much more natural light, so many beautiful windows. And like I said, that cute little courtyard, I just cannot wait. And it's gonna be such a good time of year when we move and it'll be like February, March-ish be right after our first anniversary. It's gonna be just such a cool time. It's literally all Zane and I can think and talk about right now. I'm on Pinterest constantly saving ideas for decor. To change the subject a little bit, I have been getting lots of questions about if Felix is okay. And I guess I'm ready to talk about it now because for the meantime, he does seem like he's doing okay. I'm gonna use this one called Fate to help blend this out, by the way. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush. Uh, basically about a month ago, he's been to the vet four times in the last month, um, but about a month ago he started getting a cough, maybe a little more than a month ago. It was very infrequent though, like it didn't seem like a concern, I just figured it was a hairball. Um, but then it started to pick up a little bit, so we took him to the vet about a month ago. And they weren't really sure what was happening, but there, I guess cats and humans have this layer of fluid that sits right outside your lungs. I can't remember for the life of me what they called it but I guess he has too much of it. So they drew a sample and sent it off to a lab to get tested because they said cancer could be a possibility, but it also could be heart disease related. It could have been like a lot of things. Like they had so many possibilities of what it could have been. And I was freaking out. That was actually the exact same day that we were going to get pre-qualified for our loan. So that was just stressful day. We took him back to the vet the next week because he want, they wanted to do an ultrasound on his heart and they got the test results back and they detected no cancer, thank goodness, but they did see an abnormality with his heart in the ultrasound. And keep in mind, this boy is only five. He's so young, I felt so bad. I'm like, why is he dealing with all this stuff? And I don't know if any of you have been around long enough, but he's the same cat that was dealing with like a bunch of bladder blockage issues about a year ago. This poor man. Supposedly orange tabbies are just more susceptible to health issues, which I did not realize until this cat. Um, but they did the ultrasound, they gave him some heart medicine, I believe, this appointment, yes. And then we took him home and then he started coughing again about five days later. So we booked an appointment because they told us just to keep them informed if he was coughing again. And they checked on him again and they drained a bunch of fluid. At the second appointment they drained 100 milliliters of that fluid from him because he had so much. And then this third appointment they drained another like 105 milliliters, that's crazy. But his medicines are supposed to just help 
keep that balanced and just keep, I don't know, keep like blood flow and I don't really remember. There's like three different medicines. I can't remember them all off the top of my head. And then they booked another appointment for a week later just to check on him, which was a few days ago. And they said he's doing fine. They didn't uh, see enough fluid to drain this time, so that's good. But basically we're just gonna keep him on his medicines, keep watching him. He has another appointment in like a week and a half or something like that. So yeah, I feel so bad. I really hope he just does well. I don't want to lose this cat. He's the sweetest angel. But Zane and I are just trying to stay positive. We're just hoping like he'll be fine. I just want him to be happy and healthy. As long as we're able to help take care of him while he has a quality of life, we're fine with doing whatever. But we just don't want to go down the road of doing something that's just gonna... I don't know. I don't want him to not have a quality of life is what I'm getting at. I just want him to be happy. This red is so pretty. For the lid, I want the outer half to be this shimmer called Grace, this really pretty purple. And I want it to blend into this one from the Easter collection. It's called Bonnet. It's like a purple gold. So basically we're gonna do cut crease, light into dark. It's going to be really cute. I know I'm just spewing so much information. There's just been a lot. And I wasn't ready to talk about Felix last time we did a get ready with me. And I wasn't ready to talk about the house yet because I didn't want to jinx it. But a lot of you guessed it. You were like, I knew you were buying a house. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't feel like there were too many other options of what I was alluding at. We're so pumped, guys. I can't wait. My new beauty room is going to be so nice. It has just such a big, beautiful window. And just the way the walls are set up with the window, like, I just have the perfect wall <laughs> to film against. If you don't film, that doesn't sound like it's a big deal, but it really, truly is to have a good room set up. <sighs> Look how beautiful that shimmer is. I hope I'm staying in focus. I feel like when I do my cut creases, that's when my camera really likes to not focus because my brush is like so up in your face. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that light shimmer right here in that first third just to get that diagonal effect that I like. And I'm flipping the brush over and taking that darker purple shade. It's gonna go right underneath. Wow, that's a beautiful color. It reminds me of like grape soda. It's so, so cute. We are keeping this secret from everyone though. I think we only told like our parents. I told... Obviously Morgan knew because she lives here. Um, and when I told my friend Mackenzie and Christy, and I think Zane told one friend, like that was it. So I wasn't telling any of my guests in the salon. I wasn't telling anybody. I was so scared of jinxing it. It's like something is gonna go wrong and prevent us from doing this. I just know it. For my inner corner, I really wanna use this flaky one called Elegance. It's just so pretty and I just have to stick it in my inner corner. Do you hear how loud this is all the time? Guys, I just cannot wait to get away from that. And it wasn't a huge deal when we first moved in. I really didn't mind, because we've always lived like near an interstate or just near something. But I don't know, something about this traffic has just gotten exponentially worse over the years of us being here. Well, have been here three years by the time we move. Okay, that's stunning, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna quit babbling. I'm going to repeat this on the other eye, throw on like my lashes, liner, lipstick, wig, finish up this look, look human again, and I will be back to finish this up. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I don't even, uh, editing this is gonna be a nightmare, I can tell. Just thank you for listening and just like wanting to be a part of like, I don't know, my life. <laughs> Hello, I've returned. This is the final look complete. I love how this looks. I really like purples and reds together. I just think it's such a beautiful color combination. I really like it with the dark hair, the dark lip. I'm just, I'm really feeling this vibe right now. It's a shame that I'm about to film a skincare video right after this, so it's gonna not last long, but that's okay. It was worth it for the video. The eye pencil I went with is Oxblood from NYX. My lashes are Alter Ego from Bold Face Makeup, and on my lips, I went with one of my alter ego ones. This one is in the shade Infamous. I really like these liquid lipsticks and you can use my code BUTBEAN if you want to save some money. I did reach out to the brand and ask them if there was a chance that they could start shipping more out of the US and they said that they're working on it. It's just not possible right now, but hopefully that will change in the future. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. I hope you like this look. I hope you didn't mind all my chatting. I hope you guys just enjoyed hanging out with me. It was really fun to hang out with you guys. If you made it to the end, why don't you leave me a red emoji and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If 
if you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's beat me and follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Black Lives Matter is not over. Please make sure you're doing what you can to help. Stay informed. Stay educated. That link that I always have will, of course, be in my description box if you need advice on where to start. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.